your younger brother, uh, Nico, born uh, two months premature. I think he wasn't breathing when he came out. Doctors told your parents he would never be able to walk. Um, what do you remember from finding out he had cerebral palsy? Well, I was seven, so I mean, I didn't really understand that uh, at the time. Um, and when my brother was born, it was just, uh, it was one of the greatest experiences for me, you know, having a young, young little, he just looked like a sack of spuds. <laughs> you know, just a little fat thing. <laughs> he was so chubby. Right. And he would just sit there and just never move. <laughs> um, and it was just, you know, I, I loved growing up with him. And then, you know, when he was starting to get older, starting to do things with him, you know, having, a, uh, having someone to, someone you love to play with. And, and uh, naturally he was into, he would be all, all my racist from a, from a young kid because we would drag him around with us. And, um, and you know, now he's a, he's a great young man. He's 24, he's, he's raced cars, naturally because he wants to be a racing driver because I'm a racing driver. Been around cars his whole life. And um, I mean, that's what's cool about it too. I mean, he's similarly defied all odds. Absolutely, and, yeah. I think that's really, I think, because, um, yeah, he was told he wouldn't walk, he was told that he wouldn't be able to play drums, he was told he wouldn't be able to drive, all these different things. And I think he loves to find what people say you can't do. And I, that's exactly how I am, really. So he probably, we share that same thing in common. And but, not to mention, I was looking at his Instagram yesterday. He's very open, too, about his experiences and how, hmm. um, you know, it impacts his life. And yeah, definitely. Things you know, like for that. me, watching my brother, you know, everything was physically, everything was easy for me as a kid, as it is for us, you know, walking around, right. playing football, playing basketball, doing whatever activity you want, fall over, get back up, all these different things. And, and, and for me, growing up watching this young kid with this difficulty, it was kind of hard to grasp. You can't imagine how hard it is for him, but I, I did understand because I was with him all the time. So I'd see the, the tears, I'd see the, the way people look at him, I'd see uh, the way other kids would look at him and, and treat him. And, and for me, being the older brother, just wanted to, to show him, you know, never give up. And, and then he inspired me as a young kid, to seeing him fall over when we're playing football, and it's easy for me to run around him with the ball. But like for, when we'd be playing basketball, I'd get in the wheelchair and battle with him, you know. And and um, but he never wants, he never wanted to it to be an issue. So he just always falls over, gets back up, and doesn't even doesn't even worry about it. Just gets up and, and pushes along. So you know he's inspired so many um, so many people, not only with a disability but also without disabilities today. And um, just showing that anything is possible. You you know work hard for something and you can get there. For more clips from this interview, visit GrahamBensinger.com.